Hi everyone, welcome to Abundant Life Worship Center. Um, it's our time of prayer. And so uh, we are so thankful that you are here. Um, thankful to join us in prayer um, for that's one of um, God's mandates. And so we are just thankful for you. And so today's topic for prayer is perseverance. And so um, when I was looking up the word perseverance, it stated that persistence in doing something despite difficulty or delay in achieving success. Mm -hmm. um, and some synonyms for that, for perseverance, was to carry on, continue, persist, go on, stay on one's ground, determination, steadfast, endurance. And some opposite or some antonyms of perseverance is give up, quit. Hmm. Stop. Abandon. And so earlier, or as I was hearing about the, the topic perseverance, God would just wanted you to know, don't lose sight of hope. Don't lose sight of purpose. To be encouraged. To don't give up. Do not, do not be discouraged. For every trial you go through is to build up your faith. And also, just thinking about uh, another thing that was coming to mind was your yes is dependent on someone's. Your yes is dependent on someone's. Um, just their their come their uh, ability to just be with God. So we have a um, a mandate. Mm -hmm. We have a purpose. With that, yes, it comes with it may yes, it comes with difficulty, it comes with trials, it comes with tribulations. However, God doesn't want us to give up. He wants us to persevere and he doesn't want us to give up hope. He doesn't want us to give up that sight of what we're supposed to be fighting up against. Right. Deuteronomy 31, verse 8. The Lord Himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. And so just like it was said before earlier, God doesn't want us to be discouraged. He doesn't. He wants us to be encouraged, encouraged in him. And so when we have those moments where we're feeling down and we're, when we're feeling discouraged, he wants us to come to him. He wants us to seek him in all of our ways mm -hmm. because he is with us through it all. He is in control. Amen. Galatians 6 verse 9. Let us not become weary in doing good. For at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Amen. And so just thinking about um, gardening. When you are gardening, you're doing a preparation. You're watering. You're uh, sowing the seeds. And you're doing all of this stuff so that you can have a full harvest. So you can reap a harvest. Mm -hmm. It's taking all that time, all that preparation, all that work. And in it, you may come through or get to some points where it gets bumpy. Where um, you may see that your garden or whatever you're growing, whatever crop you're growing, growing crop you're growing or vegetables, it may not come out the way you want, but you're not going to give up. You're going to keep the faith. You're going to keep, you're going to persevere because in the end, if you continue to persevere, if you continue right. to not lose sight of what you're guarding and what and all that preparation, if you continue to do what you need to do in order to uh, have that guard, to have that harvest, that bountiful harvest, you will reap it. You will reap the good benefits. Amen. Galatians 5 verse 7. You were running a good race. Who cut in on you to keep you from obeying the truth? And so just think about that verse. God does not want anything to prevent us from persevering. Nothing. He wants us to keep sight of him. To keep sight of what we are in the race for. He wants us to have that continued, that mindset. That mindset to continue to just run the race and run it well. Amen. 
James 1 verse 2. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. And so just thinking about this, we are going to go through a lot. That's just what it is. You're going to go through everything is not going to be peachy dandy. Everything is not going to be like good all the time. But through the trials, through the tribulations, it helps to build up our faith in God. It helps us to build up our trust in God. It helps us to build up our endurance in him. And so if we keep the faith, if we keep the hope, and we keep persevering, that is to build us up. So whatever does come our way, we can weather the storm. Amen. Whatever does come our way, we can go through it. Not in our own power, not in our own power, not in our own might, but with God. Amen. Amen. With God. Amen. Second Thessalonians 3, verse 13. And as for you, brothers and sisters, never tire of doing what is good. And so just thinking about this, yes, there's going to be times when we get weary, but continue to do what is good. Continue Amen. to do what is in the sight of the Lord. Amen. Hebrews 12, verses 1 through 3. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles. And let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith. For the joy set before him, he endured the cross, mm -hmm. scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Consider him who endured such opposition from sinners, so that you will not grow weary and lose heart. I know that was a lot. <laughs> but God wants us to just continue to persevere. He wants us, because he is the perfecter of all things. He is in control. Amen. And he wants us to run the, ra run the race and run it well. Amen. He wants us to endure. He, he doesn't want anything to get in the way or to be a hindrance to us running the race and running it well. So whatever it is that is keeping us or blocking us from running the race, he wants us to abandon those things, abandon those mindsets, abandon all those things that are not of him, but coming to the knowledge of the truth, his word, because his word is great. His word is the truth. Amen. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you for who you are, Father. We thank you, Father, for being Lord of Lords. We thank you, Father, for being King of Kings. We thank you, Father, for just giving us the spirit of perseverance, Father. Help us not to give up or to grow weary in the fight or in the race, but to continue to just gain that strength from you, Father, knowing that you are God and God alone, that you would never leave us, that you would never forsake us, Father. Help to give us the spiritual stamina that, that we need in order to fight the fight. Fight the good fight, Father. Help us not to be in our own power. Help us not to be in our own might, but to just gain strength from you. Help us to stay, be steadfast in you, Father. Not wavering to and fro, but to be steadfast in you. Stand fast in your truth and stand fast in endurance. Give us the hope that we need to persevere. Give us the strength that we need to persevere. Give us the stamina that we need to persevere. Help us, Father, along the way. Give us the guidance, Father, the clarity and the mindset, the willingness to persevere. Because we have to have a willing heart, a willing mind, and a willing mindset in order to run the race. We thank you, Father, that you are having us not to be wavering to and fro, but to be steadfast in you, steadfast in your love, steadfast in all the things that is of you, your truth, your word. Your truth and your word is what carries us through. And so help us, Father, to seek you in all of our ways, to seek you as we are persevering, to seek you as we are just gaining hope and gaining strength, Father. We thank you, Father,
Father, that you are just giving, you are just helping us, Father, to just stay on the right path, the straight and the narrow path, Father. Help us not to just, help us not to tip over or to just lean toward those things that are not of you, Father, but to lean toward those things that are of you. So that when we, we when we do run the race, when we are running the race, we have that great mindset, we have that great mentality, and that we are springing forth, and we're springing forth in you. Help us to spring forth or to catapult, Father, in the things of you. Everything that is of you, Father, help us to persevere and to persevere in it well, Father. Help us not to give up, not to give up in the fight. Even those trials and tribulations, they may come up and they will come up against us. But we thank you, Father, that we will not give up. We will not grow weary. We will be strong and we will be steadfast in the things of you, Father. Have your way, Father, in our mindsets. Have your way in our hearts. Have your way in our very spirit so that we can persevere and that we can persevere well. Build us up, Father, in our spiritual man. Build us up in our minds. Yeah. Build us up in everything that you want to build us up in, Father. Encourage us, Father. Encourage our minds. Encourage our hearts. Encourage our very spirits, Father. And help us not, once again, not to give up. Because when we give up, we're saying no to you. So have us to say yes, Father. And to just continue to do your will. To continue to do your ways, Father. Help us to stay focused, Father. And to have a focused mindset. To have a focused heart. To have a focused spirit. And not only that, Father. Help us to hear, Father. And to hear the things of you, Father. And to have the clarity to want to do all those things that you said and laid out upon us, Father. Your very foundation. Help us to continue to have a firm foundation so that we can persevere and that we can run swiftly and just swiftly in you. Yes. Now have your way, Father. I command that we will persevere in Jesus' name. I command that we will not give up and we will not grow weary in Jesus' name. I command that we will seek you in all things in Jesus' name. I declare, I decree it, and it is so. We thank you, Father, for what you have done. We thank you, Father, that you are going to continue to do the work in us, Father, so that we can be built up in you, that we can be built up to run the race like good runners, like good soldiers in your army. So have your way, Father. We thank you, Father, and we give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Continue to persevere. Continue to lose, not lose sight, not to lose hope, but to gain endurance and to gain strength in the Lord. Be blessed.